Julie at Magnolia Grace Cottage. Today we are going to be transforming this cute little elf. So what I've done for the elf is I did some needle sculpting on a sock, just a sock from Dollar Tree that I grunged and baked in the oven. And I wanted it to be kind of flat so it can sit nicely on the sign here. So here's the the face here that we're going with. It's super easy to do, you guys give it a try. Um, again, I have a tutorial on the needle soft sculpting. I have segment one and segment two. So please check it out, you guys. Okay, so first off, what I'm going to do is we're gonna go right over this, just like we did with the tree. I'm going to start with putting the face on first. So I want to give him these cute little elf ears. I'm going to use some floral wire that I have just to kind of tie off the ears and tuck the end in the back since it's not going to be shown. I'm going to wrap the toe of the sock here. And just by wrapping it, right, it actually looks like an elf ear. Now for this side, I waited to do this so I could show you guys. I'm going to cut this just, just below the little ribbing here, tucking the foam inside, and I'm going to glue it, this part back. Okay, then I'm gonna take my wire and do the same thing on this side. Okay, now I'm kind of eyeballing it to make sure the ears are the same size. So now I am going to go ahead and apply the glue to the elf sign here. Cover the entire face. What's nice about this is that you can manipulate the face to get it to go the way you're wanting it to, to look. Like that so far, okay? So now, I think I've got it down pretty well. Make sure. We're gonna go ahead and do the, the hands. And with the hands, I'm gonna use the remaining part of the sock. Okay, I cut it. And then I'm going to cut this in half. Okay, so we end up with two pieces like this. Okay. Okay. Now I'm gonna start gluing this on, wrapping and gluing right over this. Okay, now for the legs, I got this piece that I've also coffee stained. I'm going to cut it in half. And I'm going to bring it all the way up to the underarm area here. I kind 
of like to crinkle it up. It just, it just gives more um, depth, I believe. It makes it more interesting. Okay, now for the arms. Cutting a strip. And what I'm gonna do is wrap it around the arm here as closely as I can, each arm, and then I'll put another piece over here. This piece here, and I'm going to bring it down, gather it as I'm tucking and gathering, tucking and gathering. Okay, for the shoes now my material here. I don't measure guys. I just kind of run with it. Okay, get my other one on here. change that front up a little bit and don't be afraid to do that guys if you get a different idea go with it adding some little embellishments here Okay, now for the hat. part of his hat. I've cut a piece of a rug from Dollar Tree that I coffee stained and baked and I'm going to use that as the trim. I waited to do the eyes because I wanted to get the hat situated first, see how much room I have for eyes. some rusty bells that I used here for his hat. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and uh, draw the eyes on.
things I have in like that. Then, I'm going to get a little bit of the makeup. And just kind of put some makeup in the mouth here. And of course the nose. Okay guys, and there we have it. I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial. Thank you for joining me. This is Julie at Magnolia Grace College.